this is our green room, which is not quite green, it's beige room. Like, you can generate your energy. Just, whew, okay, there, there you go. Wait, then, is there a trampoline? Yes, there's a trampoline. Oh, man, I got it. We had a trampoline. I feel like I'm being stepbrothers. I'm like, so worried about the wall. Oh, man, I totally see why Tony Robbins has one of these and does this all the time. It does wake you up. It's good exercise, too. After, like, yeah. a minute of this, you kind of want to die. Oh, with weights, too? I just do that. I'm not just YouTube jumping like, hey. <laughs> All right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sean, hey what, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey, we're here at uh, Chabot College uh, here to do an interview with uh, Rosie Cruz, who's the host of Bay Area Independent Filmmakers. We're here about to enter the studio. Yeah, they got this like crazy screen setup where you can like change the background and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. So, oh, nice. Yeah, so you can you can ask me once that's like a beach or something. <laughs> or, yeah, right. let's do the interview oh, on a like beach. The Sears portrait. Where's Hey. Hey. Where's Elizabeth? She's over here. Hi. Hi. Hey, Rosie. Well, I saw there's a green screen stuff, so we, we could show up in like our green screen outfits if you want. <laughs> One of the things we were thinking hey. we'd just be floating then heads, didn't it? <laughs> I was there last oh, time. So this uh, this is um, one of their filming rooms, but right now it's storage. Hi, I'm Rosie Cruz. I am the host of Bay Area Independent Filmmakers here at Chabot College. They have their own TV station, so I'm really super excited. It is a show about these wonderful creators located here in the Bay Area. Welcome to Bay Area Independent Filmmakers, and I'm here with some really fun, exciting guests. We have Sean McCarthy and Elizabeth Mitchell joining us after their launch of Juicaholics. I had taken a couple of days to watch Juicaholics, and I was dying. When I was watching, I, uh, I just, I thought that the writing was incredible. I want to ask you, just becoming a filmmaker, like what was your path and how you started? Somebody has a calling. For me, this is film, and there was no other thing for me. The things I like the most is to is to tell stories and just going like, wow, this is the coolest job in the world. And once I realized that, I just never stopped. That's awesome. So how did you two meet? He was my very first audition ever. It worked out, you know, because, uh, you know, not just as a creative collaboration as an actor director, but she's now my co-creator. She's my producing partner. So when we collaborate, there's special things that happen, like how Dusha Hogs came about. Why choose a series versus a film? In today's day and age where people are watching stuff, everyone's binging stuff. You're building a brand, essentially. There's so many three-hour movies or two-hour movies that people haven't heard of that are being made today, but shows, there's something that can just continue on in people's minds, and then they get excited for, like, a year from now, the next season to come out. There's that <laughs> cool thing of laying it out there and allowing it to just kind of ferment and audiences to take it as their own thing. And grow too. I mean like when you make a film like you're done with your film. So yeah. that's exciting to us too to just be able to keep to growing and, and nurturing it. We can now make our own stuff and now we can get it out there and we can do it from anywhere in the world and that's so cool. That's what feels fun. It feels like we're at this new frontier where we're charging forward and the technology is allowing shifts to open and we're allowing, it's allowing culture to change with these shifts. Well, thank you so much. And um, yeah, become an official douche. Um, follow them and come watch. Hi. That was awesome. <laughs> thank you, Rosie. Thanks, Rosie. Like that. That, was that was great. Fun. Thanks so much, Rosie. It's really cool to work and collaborate with other Bay Area film community leaders like Rosie. We're big proponents of, and, and Rosie is too, is just, Keep making your thing. Keep making what you're doing. What we're even doing here with the vlog, just documenting it, putting it out there. And you know, if you keep doing that, one, you get better at it, but two, you also put it out there in the world and other people respond to it. And sometimes you get cool adults only coloring books out of it. Oh yeah. So we met another cool filmmaker named Dave O'Shea and he has a series that he told us about and he provided us with an R-rated coloring book as a take home gift, which is an amazing thing. And it so helps you learn your alphabet. For instance, Q. It's for Quaaludes. And should you choose to color in Bill Cosby right there? There you go. I think that's a win-win, right? It's a win-win-win. Win-win-win-win-win-win.